Welcome back, everybody. It's Saturday, so it's another mail day, mail day, mail day video. We open everything we've received over the course of another couple busy weeks of mail. Let's get to it. Got a few slabs to look at. I've got a few PSA DNA slabs to look at. Uh, most of these are eBay purchases, and we have one online purchase. We'll look at that second, and one Facebook group purchase. Let's open up that one first through the TTM autograph Facebook pages. Sometimes you get incredible deals there, especially now. People are trying to raise some money for Christmas, so they're getting rid of their items. That's sometimes... Very reasonable prices. Now, this one is pretty cool. This effing game is over. Chuck Bednarik, Philadelphia Eagles, 49 to 62, Hall of Fame 67. Sorry, Frank. He knocked Frank Gifford out cold and maybe out for the next season as well. Tremendous hit there in a big game. One of the greatest tackles in NFL history. That is a copy of a photo, I believe, which I didn't know. Yeah, it's a glossy. And that wasn't all the inscription and everything. Bednarik signed through the mail when he was living and was a welcome signer in person as well back when he was living. No longer with us, of course. And that was $35 shipped. Not a bad deal, I thought. And then there's Bill Pullian, Hall of Fame 2015 along with fellow Hall of Famer, Marv Levy. Bill Pullian, do not have his autograph. And that was, let's see. Both those were 35 shipped, both those together. That's what it was. I talked him down, or I made him an offer. Uh, it was 40 plus shipping. And I said, how about 35 shipped? And he said, okay. Hopefully that'll stand. We may need a box to boost that up. Just put that box right here. That should hold. So that was 35 shipped for the both of those, which I thought was really cool. That bed Eric is worth something simply because of the inscriptions. And it's history. This is from Mainline Autographs. So now, Math Bowler just piqued his curiosity. They had a uh, Black Friday sale. Oops, that's not good. <laughs> had some slabbed cards on sale and some 8x10s on sale. Got these 8x10s. Ooh, there's their Certificates of Authenticity. We'll take a look at those later. It's really the first time I've ordered through them for a long time. I, maybe, I don't know, 10 years ago, I'm thinking. I got something from Mainline, but Stan Jones is a Hall of Famer. Do not have him in my collection. I don't believe. May have got one from Card Cutter along the line somewhere. $6 for that. Steve Blass, $6. 8 by 10 All these are 8 by 10s Bob Friend, no longer with us. Willing signer through the mail, but before I would get in the TTM game, he passed. That was $6. And Pete Gray, the one-handed baseball player. And there's his story along with this one. Pretty cool. Pete Gray, $6 as well. Don't have anything from Pete Gray in my collection. Thought that was really cool. Let's see if he'll stand with just a... Yeah, that's it. Put this one up too. We'll try this. Uh, Steve Blass over right here. How about that? All right. We better not test our luck in any of these others. But really cool. Bob Friend will stick him behind Chuck. And Stan Jones. You'll have to be off in the corner. All right. So, mainline autographs. Oh, yeah, the slabs. Slab, 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 slab. Just, wow. Wildly thrown in there with no... Sleeves on those, but turned out okay. These Beckett slabs are really durable. Tom Mack rookie card, 70 tops. All these were marked down for. Now that's not going to stand. Let me put it right there. 
Tom Mack, all-time player. All these were marked down to like $30. There's the Lem Barney. <clears throat> you may remember us sending him this card. It's got a little crease in the card there. Did not know that. <clears throat> 70 tops. We sent that to him with a big fee. And he sent us a stamped autograph back. Very disappointing. Very disappointing from Mr. Barney. So I needed to get that in my collection. Non-stamped. And then, of course, we got to go for Kenny Houston anytime he's affordable. That rookie card, he charges 10 bucks through the mail. The card is generally, you can get that card relatively cheaply. But <clears throat> Certificate of Authenticity, Bob Friend, Steve Blass, Pete Gray, Stan Jones. That's a stamped autograph by the owner there. But those are for the four 8x10s. They run a bunch of shows, bring in a bunch of signers uh, twice a year, once a year in Pittsburgh, at the, usually in May. So a trustworthy source, really good prices. All right, let's try this one. This is the guy who played high school ball near where I played high school ball. Played minor leagues. He's been a long time coach. I think he's with the um, Kansas City Royals staff, if I'm not mistaken. I have to double check on that. But Paul Hoover from. <laughs> and that's the 99 Tops trading set, which I had a bunch of those because of the uh, J.R. House, my favorite player for the Pirates. Local guy. There's home Columbus born Steubenville. And he played, also played in. Charleston, but that's Charleston, South Carolina. And you can see there, drafted out of Kansas State University as a shortstop, Devil Rays decided he'd outgrown the position, athletic catcher. So he played minor league ball as a catcher and does not have a history of signing through the mail, so I'm going to have to test those waters. That's a 15-count lot there. Got him down to reduce it to 75 cents a card. So it was 8 Plus two delivered, so ten dollars total for fifteen cards, seventy-five cents a card. And this will be a follow-up to Paul Hoover. Here he is as a catcher. It's first year in the minors, autographed. Four oh six nine out of four nine five oh. Gave those guys carpal tunnel syndrome. And there he is again, explaining how they moved him from shortstop to catcher. <laughs> Paul Hoover. Pretty cool. Been a long time coach. He's a bench coach, I believe, for the Royals. I have to double check on that. We'll test him out. Tell him I'm from the Valley. Sally from the Valley. All right, next three slabs. PSA, D, PSA graded slabs. Last week, we got a couple Juan Soto PSA 10s. Michael Myers Acuna. 16 is that a 10 there he is same set 2018 tops update bat up there is a bat down variation if you can get a hold of that one do it <laughs> rookie card ronald acuna mr 4070 and probably the mvp yeah well he was the mvp jim mint 10 boom and those aren't cheap 44 dollars and Got two of those. Told you about Acuna last week. Uh, I mean, told you about Soto last week. They both started playing as uh, late 18-year-olds or early 19-year-olds. And are building up stats in their 24, 25-year-old season. Acuna turned 25 this year. Soto turned 25 in the offseason. But there he is again. 2018 PSA 10. All these are around the same price. You really can't find a bargain on Acuna's. Because everybody's after him. But hey, I had a bunch a few of those cards we bought as soon as the set came out. Of course, I opened a bunch, two of those uh, blasters. Got some Cunha rookies. Didn't get the bat down. But the holiday edition has the bat down. <laughs> if that means anything to you. That was the standard card in the holiday edition. Guess what? 
Ronald Acuna, Jim Mint 10, 2018, Tops Update. What do you know? Got on a little roll this week. Ronald Acuna. Don't want to push that from that autograph. But yeah, what do you think? I think that's it. Um, that's it. That's it. That's it. Tell me what you think down below. You ever gotten Paul Hoover's autograph before? If so, let me know about that. Of course. And this underground... Uh, whoa! A little collision there. Underground consignment. That's where it came. Underground case breaks. That's where those came from. Very quick mailing, I might say. And uh, arrived safely. So what more can you ask for? Put that there. Put that there. Paul Hoover. All right. Let me know down below. As always, if you uh, haven't subscribed yet, click right there. We try to do this every Friday. Today is Saturday. So sorry about that. But thanks for tuning in on the weekend. Hope you uh, enjoy what you see. If so, then you can watch last week's mail day video right there where we got a couple soto psa 10s and a couple autographs and some hall of famers there so we'll take a look at that huge mail day last week and a pretty big one this week three psa dna slabs hey let me know down below as always love to read your comments and as always we will see you soon